Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. One of the most common questions people ask, how can I increase penile length? Today we are diving into this sensitive topic with a scientific lens. Instead of quick fixes or unsupported claims, I will guide you through research-packed options, clarify myths and explore what's considered normal. Let's get started. Did you know a study involving 50,000 heterosexual men revealed that 55% were dissatisfied with their penile appearance while 85% of their partners were satisfied. These numbers highlight the psychological nature of this concern. Research papers indicate that societal factors including unrealistic depictions in media like porn contribute to a condition called small penis anxiety. SPA is a preoccupation with the belief that one's penis is inadequate even when it falls within normal ranges. This can lead to distress, body dysmorphic disorder and in extreme cases severe mental health issues. If you are struggling with anxiety about size, psychological counseling can significantly help. Studies have shown that many men who undergo counseling no longer feel the need for other treatments. A research paper reviewing global data found that the average erect penile length is around 5.2 inches, it means 13.2 centimeters, with anything less than 2.9 inches, 7.5 centimeters is classified as a medical condition called micropenis. What's more, size varies within two standard deviations of the average, meaning most men fall within a healthy range. The real challenge is not the size itself, it's how societal expectations distort perception. Now let's examine scientifically supported options for penile length enhancement. These methods fall into non-surgical and surgical categories. Number one is non-surgical treatments, penile extenders. Research papers have demonstrated that penile extenders are one of the few non-surgical methods with evidence of success. These devices apply gentle consistent traction over time promoting tissue expansion. Studies show that after months of consistent use, several hours a day, men achieved an average increase of around 2 cm, it means 0.8 inches in flaccid stretch length. But here's the catch: it requires patience and daily commitment. Complications like numbness, bruising or discomfort are also possible if not used properly. Vacuum devices and injections while vacuum erection devices can help with erectile function. Research indicates they do not lead to permanent increases in length. Similarly, penile injections have been explored, but the risks including, you know, severe complications for outweigh any potential benefits. Weight loss for appearance. Interestingly, losing excess weight around the pubic area can make the penis appear longer by revealing more of the shaft. This is a simple yet effective approach that's often overlooked. Number second option was surgical treatment. Suspensory ligament release. This surgical procedure involves cutting the ligament that incurs the penis to the pubic bone, allowing more of the shaft to extend outward. However, research highlights significant risks including scarring, reduced function and dissatisfaction with the results. Other surgeries such as grafts or cartilage implants have been attempted but they often yield poor outcomes and complications. Experts recommend pursuing these only in clinical trials under strict medical supervision. Now let's discuss methods to avoid. Research shows that over-the-counter pills and supplements are not scientifically proven and may be harmful. Vacuum pumps can cause temporary soiling but no permanent changes. Unregulated surgeries can lead to devastating irreversible complications. Always consult a qualified professional before attempting any treatment. Final takeaways and confidence building. In summary, while there are ways to increase penile length, they require significant time, effort and often come with risks. Psychological counseling and embracing your natural anatomy can be a healthiest and most effective solution for many men. Remember guys, satisfaction and confidence are more about how you feel and less about how you measure up. Thank you for watching. I hope this video provided clarity and valuable information. If you found it helpful, give it a like, share it with someone who might benefit and don't forget to subscribe for more evidence best health insights. Let me know in the comments what you think, what topics you would like me to cover next. Until next time, take care of yourself and your health.